Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Um, I haven't had a chance to shoot this video until now. Um, it's been, a, to be honest, a, a month of craziness. I can't put it any other way, um, you know. It's all a long story, but yes, it's been mental. Um, so, tomorrow I want to start this um, week one of the 52-week 50, um, program that I have created with Ed. And the, the whole point of this program is that with following from week one up to week 52 you'll be able to learn how to do handstands and pistol squats and do movements that you know a lot of people can't do and that's the goal like I can't do a pistol squat and I am determined to be able to do a pistol squat so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna start tomorrow and I'm gonna do this every day uh, not this specific program but this is week one we do one uh, program every single week so it's 52 different programs that builds up a strength, mobility, flexibility. It builds up on and it works on everything. Um, so that's what this whole program is about. So we start tomorrow. It's going to be about 12 minutes. Um, I recommend to get the full effect. You want to do it at least five five days a week, but ideally seven if you can. You know, it doesn't have to be longer than 12 minutes to get in phenomenal shape. And that's kind of what this is about. And um, we're going to start with well, every time. It's going to be six exercises. Uh, the next week we're going to do calf raises, under the toe squats, backward leans, bridges, modified leg raises and a plank to down and dog. I have a little book that I have all the workouts in and I'm going to keep a little journal. Um, I would recommend that potentially you write them down or you make a note of what you've done in your diary so you can follow your own progress as well. Um, we're going to start in just a minute but I hope you um, will enjoy this whole journey. It is going to be long and the only one who's going to make you do it is you. Um, I'm not going to force anyone to do anything they don't want but this is, this is you're going to be able to get fantastic results and see changes in your body not just in the way it's shaped but also how it moves. So that's the point of, the, of this program. Um, but yeah, I hope you all enjoy it. Let's start. We're going to start with 20 um, calf raises. The reason I'm shooting in my bedroom is the fact my kids are in bed so I can't shoot it in my living room like I normally do because that leads into their bedroom and I don't wake them up. So I'm going to do it in here. Um, I can't put you up any higher because of the light of my bedroom window is so bright that you won't be able to see me so you won't see my face for the first exercise because you can only see my legs so I'm really sorry about that but we start with 20 calf raises so get yourself up you want to stand with perfect perfect posture so that means you if you're not sure what that means watch the posture video actually it's on the members area and, and you'll be able to see on there but feet together squeeze your bum tight head in shoulders back and down chest down raise your abs and then we're gonna go, okay? Lift yourself up to your toe, squeeze your bum. If you feel you can't squeeze your bum tight enough, go what we call Charlie Chaplin, and then go. And we're gonna go to a 20. Squeeze your bum tight. Really get your bum much more when you do Charlie Chaplin, but you can also just keep your feet together. Good. Control your squeeze. I think that's about 10, we're doing another 10. Breathe through your nose, deep in, into your stomach so you can get your uh, lid on your, on your core cylinder. If you don't know what that means, watch the video videos about the core. Okay, do another five. Okay, lovely, then I want you to put your feet together again. Come down. Tuck your hands underneath your toes and you want to look through your knees, okay? Then you want to squat down as far as you can and then you want to straighten your legs. Feel a nice stretch at the back of your legs, okay? You can hold on to your ankles if you can't reach underneath your toes. Good. One. Two. Three. We're doing ten. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Lovely. We're going to do this like twice, so we're going to do 20 calf raises again. Feet together, squeeze your bum as tight as you possibly can. Make sure I don't know if you can see. Make sure you get your pelvis like tucked underneath. Good. Squeeze your bum. Good. Hold posture. Shoulders back. Head in, 
abs down, brace your abs. for 10 more. Good. Under the toe squats. Come here. Look through your legs. Squat down. Push up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and last one, ten. Lovely, we're going to move on. We're going to do backward leans. And with these, you squeeze your bum tight. So you can see you want your, your shoulder, your hip, and your knee to be in a straight line as much as possible. You squeeze your bum tight, get that pelvis underneath, and then you lean back. Good, squeeze your bum as you come back. No sitting back down like this. You want to keep shoulder, hip and knee as much in line as possible. Glutes tight, brace your abs. And like squeeze your bum as you come up. And we're doing 10. Three. Four. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely, we're going to lie down and do bridges. Feet nice and close to your bum. You want to do up one segment at the time of your spine. Think belly button towards the spine. Squeeze your bum as you come up one segment at the time. And then come back. And again, breathe through your nose. One, we're doing ten. It's not just five. <laughs> so. Three, four, five. Seven, three more. Eight, nine, ten. Lovely. And we're doing that two more times. Oh, one more time, I mean. So it's bridges. Squeeze your bum tight. And come back. One. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely. And again, bridges. Feet, heels nice and close to your bum. Belly button into your spine. Breathe through your nose into your stomach. And then we squeeze our bum as we come up. And again. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Three more. Ten. Lovely. Right, we're gonna do excuse me. Um, we're gonna do what's called a modified leg raises. Um, so we need to make sure you have your lower back in the ground the whole time and plank to a downward dog afterwards. So we start with ten modified leg raises. Get your legs nice and bent, lower back flat against. You don't want that lower back to lift off, so you might want to tuck your hands underneath. 
either side of your spine, not underneath the spine. Feel constant pressure and then lift your legs out to that point where you can still keep your back in the ground, okay? So if you can get as far as you can without lifting up your lower back and we just do 10 like that. Breathe into your stomach. button towards the spine. Good. Point your toes. Two more. I think I have no idea. I forgot to count. Lovely. Plank to downward dog. So get yourself into the plank position, screw your hands in, squeeze your bum, and then come up into the plank, into the downward dog. Get that back in. We do 10. Seven. Eight. Two more. Screw your hands in. Good. Lovely. We've got one round to go and then we've done our 12 minutes. So there you go. Lower back into the ground. Feel that constant pressure. This isn't about speed, controlled movement. Lovely. Good. Into the plank. Screw your hands in. And come up into downward dog. And then you come back down. Screw your hands. Squeeze your bum tight. Deep breath into your stomach. Brace your abs. Four more. Oh, sliding a bit. Okay, we've got one more to go. And that's it. That's our week one workout. It's not hard, hard. He's not sweaty. He needs to be slowly controlled. Doesn't take longer than 10 minutes. This is week one. We're building up. And you would be surprised how, how quickly controlled, slow movement builds your strength and changes your body. Um, so yeah, this is week one. If you can do it seven days, I'd say amazing. But if you can do five, that's good. But try to aim for five. It's only 12 minutes that's all you need to do okay so thank you for watching and doing it with me and i can't wait to see how you get on this week so i'll talk to you all soon bye bye